For more beauty tips, check out MakeupGameOnPoint.com. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you'll be telling me all of your deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> no, just kidding. Today we're only talking about mascara. I thought this would be a really cool video to kind of break down um, just the 411 really on different brands of mascaras, how you can find the right mascara for you regardless of the brand, like what qualities to look for, what different mascaras and how, like what purposes they serve, and of course, how you can find the right one for you. So as you guys know, as I'm sure you've all been through trial and error of different mascara brands, no mascara is created equal. They all have a different purpose, they all kind of have a different job, and I consider myself somewhat, I guess you can say, of a lash mascara expert, being that my natural lashes are, I think that we just naturally are always looking for really good mascaras, and I feel like I'm pretty good at picking and choosing mascaras that work for me. I rarely ever buy a mascara and dislike it, and uh, just because of the tips and the things that I know to look for. So I wanna share you guys some tips on what I like to do and what I like to look for in a mascara so that you can be a pro and like look at that and be like, oh, that would be a really good mascara for me. And then walk home satisfied. You don't have to waste your money on a bunch of bull crap you ain't gonna use. And we are going to show you how to successfully choose the right mascara. So I like to categorize mascaras in like four different genres I guess you can say. So you have thickening mascaras or volumizing mascaras which self-explanatory they thicken, they add plumpness, they make your lashes look fuller. Second category is we have ones that kind of do the opposite. They separate, they remove the clumps, they help the lashes look more spread out and um, they will separate the lashes. Then you have mascaras that are more better for lengthening, so they're going to make your lashes appear on the longer side. They're going to make them look fuller, much like what a volumizing and thickening mascara would do. Actually, lengthening and thickening are kind of the same category, depending on how you look at it. And then you have your mascaras that do a little bit of both. They thicken and they separate at the same time, which is kind of hard to come by, but it's a really good trait. And I think that that's what most of us are typically looking for in a mascara. Am I right or am I right? Now, whichever one you choose is going to depend on your lashes, what your lashes needs are. For example, if you have longer lashes, but they're not very full or they're not very thick, then obviously you're probably going to want a thickening mascara, right? If you have um, shorter lashes that are very thick and full, then you're probably gonna wanna look for something that's gonna add some length, right? So I'm going to start off by talking about thickening mascaras and what I want you to look for when you're shopping for a thickening mascara. So what you do is you walk into the store and you look at the bristles and when the bristles are on the thicker, wider side, normally these are your brushettes that are gonna be thicker, like literally bigger, um, the ones that I used to hate when I feel like I never really knew how to apply them correctly, those are going to be your thickening mascaras. Some good examples of thickening mascaras are pretty much all of Bobbi Brown's mascaras, which I'm a huge fan of. Most of them, if not all of them, with the exception of one, I can't think of the name, but most of her, her uh, mascaras, if you notice those thicker, longer brush heads, those are going to be thickening. A lot of Dior's mascaras are thickening. Dior Show, they've got that same look to them, very thick kind of... Um, very thick, very dense, and very sturdy look. If you guys are lovers and users of Benefit mascaras, Bad Gal Lash is a great thickening mascara. It's got that same head. It's got that same head. They, they, they all look the same. They all have the same mascara head, different formula. So that is pretty much what you're gonna wanna look for when you want a thickening mascara. Look for the big bristle head. Very easy, very easy, keep it simple. Okay, so let's talk about mascaras that separate. Now the mascaras are separate. You know those little brush heads that got teeny, teeny little, little pricklies in them? Those are amazing for separating. Those are going to be your separating lashes. I want you to think of those little, little pricklies as little combs that are literally combing out your lashes. Now, they're not the greatest at thickening, so I like using those in addition to a thickening mascara. So some good examples of some mascaras that are going to separate. Perfect example is Benefit They're Real. Perfect example, like it just has those little, little prickly combs that literally 
comb out the lashes, they're going to separate, they're going to declump. Lights Camera Flashes from Tarte does the exact same thing. If you look very closely at the brush head, it's just got those little, little pricklies. They're perfect, perfect, perfect for separating. Personally, I'm not a fan of those type of mascaras to be worn on their own. They just don't add enough volume for me. They don't add enough thickness. So, why not layer your mascaras? I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of layering mascaras. You guys have seen me demonstrate this in almost all of my tutorials, at least in the past like six months, where I've been doing it on camera. But I will use one mascara that's really good at thickening, and then top it off with a really a mascara that's great at separating because a lot of times those thickening mascaras they do clump your lashes but that's obviously that's what they're supposed to do right they're supposed to make them look thicker thicker sometimes mean clumpier so it's okay to go in with a different mascara that's going to help enhance the first one that you used um, without canceling each other out one of my favorite combos is to use my Dior Show mascara which is thickening with benefit they're real or I'll use tight tight or I use Tarte lights camera flashes on top of that because like I said they're both separating you want to thicken your lashes first and then separate if you separate them there's really nothing to separate so you always want to thicken use a thickening mascara first if you are going to layer them and then go in and separate after so let's talk about mascaras that add length I noticed that the mascaras that have a curved brush are usually better at adding length great lashes either a love or a hate I personally love it it does not do anything to thicken your lashes but the one thing it will do is lengthen the hell out of them and they've got two kinds they have their regular formula and then they have one with the curved brush I personally like to use the curved brush I feel like it performs a lot better and it actually does add some curl to the lashes and great lash is definitely going to put some wanted length in those lashes if that's what you're looking for so some things that you want to look for in your lengthening mascaras the brush heads are not as big as the thickening mascaras when held side by side but they usually have the same shape and the bristles are a little bit, are not as dense, if that makes sense. So lastly, I wanna talk about mascaras that do both, which usually end up being my absolute favorite mascaras. So when you're looking for a mascara that does both, you're gonna to wanna to look for the same type of brush head that you're looking for in lengthening mascaras. They have the same shape as your thickening mascaras, except they are not as dense, they're usually not as dense, and the bristles are kind of a little bit more spread out, if that makes sense, not as thick, but they've got the same shape. And a really, really great example of mascaras that do both thickening and separating are pretty much all of the Y-Cell line of mascaras. Probably my favorite mascara at the moment is the one from Mali Beauty. It is the volumizing mascara. Uh, absolutely amazing. It actually, it does both. It's really, really good at doing both. The formula is magic, it thickens, it lengthens, it's just an absolute amazing mascara. Another good example of a mascara that does both is the Urban Decay New Perversion Mascara. Really, really good mascara. You get tons of product in there, which you know can either be a blessing or a curse, depending on how light or heavy-handed you are, so you have to be careful with that one. And then this one may come at a slight surprise, but the Fashion Fair Mascara is actually really really amazing and good at both thickening the lashes and separating them at the same time and I'm actually quite yeah I'm actually quite impressed with the Fashion Fair mascara. Bobbi Brown's mascaras second time on this list they're also really good at doing both thickening and separating so that is a brand that I would highly recommend. So that pretty much are all of the tips that I have. What I really want you guys to take away from this video is to use it as a guideline so that in the future when you're makeup shopping, because I know you'll be doing plenty of that, you'll be able to look at a mascara and be able to pinpoint like, oh that's more than likely going to be a really good thickening mascara. And that way you can apply these tips and guidelines for any brand. Like nobody has the time and the money to keep buying stuff that doesn't work or doesn't perform the way that you expect it. So I really hope that you guys find this helpful. So just keep in mind that the mascaras that I mentioned today are just examples. As you know, there's fra this is just a small fraction of all the other amazing mascaras there are out there. So I want you to be able to take these tips and use them for any brand. So I want you guys to be able to take these tips and go forth and do great things with them. I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.